What it do, YouTube? <laughs> Rock Easy back in this bitch. Today we got some crazy shit we about to react to, my niggas. Crazy shit. I seen a little ass piece of this shit, and I found this woman's YouTube, bro. She basically saying, nigga, aborting black males is the solution for the black community, nigga. She's basically saying, like, black males don't want black women. They're having interracial babies, so we need to start aborting black men yo this is some crazy shit i don't know who this lady is bro but her name is cynthia g i feel like this is a crazy topic and i got some points to make about this shit you feel me because it's not just niggas don't love black women niggas don't love black women bro black women don't like the niggas who actually succeed in life bro to be honest bro i don't want to say too much before the video but niggas she's talking about black niggas don't procreate with black women and they don't love black women and, and all this shit nigga when we growing up all the girls want hood niggas bro they're going from hood nigga to hood nigga to hood nigga and hood nigga and don't even know why they wasting all this time the niggas who they didn't want is getting richer and doing well for themselves and growing it and building businesses and shit while they running around jumping on hood nigga dick bro that's the truth i'm keeping it too raw i'm keeping it too real yeah i guess i can be on camera like this yeah but um so an emotional decision is one where you have the men not contributing anything to you which we know they're not they don't protect you. They don't provide for you. They're murdering you every six hours. They're wreaking havoc on their children. And you say, well, we can't live without them. Well, my brother, my uncle, my grandfather, that's when you're making an emotional decision. When we sit up here and say, well, look, these men aren't serving any purpose. They're harming you. They're leaving you single mothers. They're wreaking havoc in the community. The logical decision then would be to control how many of them are here. That's called logic. So you're going to wipe out a black race of a man? That don't make sense. This is women, bro. They think every man is doing the same shit that the niggas they fuck with are doing. They only fuck with these type of niggas, bro. You think they was fucking with Kanye when he was wearing a backpack, nigga? And now they mad when Kanye gets a white woman. Y'all black women didn't want Kanye back then. The fuck? Y'all ain't having babies by niggas like Kanye, bro. That's the truth. They get mad after the fact. They like regretting shit. They like regretting their decisions and, and all that shit. You getting mad after the fact because you chose the wrong nigga. That's right. That's called logic. Absolutely right. And strategy. And so we need to get out of emotion and stop thinking about really black. We live in black male worship. We live in black male worship. Because I'm telling you, if black women were the most problematic in the community, this would not be an issue. And according to black men, we are the most problematic ones in the community. <laughs> Everything, bro, I love black women, but bro, black women revolve around drama. You see how she's acting right now, bro? That's a drama. That is a drama-filled woman. And then she wonders why all these niggas left, all these niggas did her dirty, all these niggas got up out of her life. Bitch, it's you. It's you, bitch. The fuck out of here, nigga. Like, anybody could see And it. they're saying they're not going to change because they don't need to. Imagine they waking up and having to argue with her every day, my nigga. You'd get the fuck out of there, too. I think the problem is you. The problem is you black women who are not choosing better. The problem is you black women who refuse to pick better men. The problem is you black women who just don't want to play your role. You don't want to submit. You don't want to let them lead. Yada, yada, yada. That's what they think the problem is. The problem is not them to them. And if you're not a problem or your behavior is not a problem, then you're not going to change it. You don't change what's not problematic so the bottom line of it is is black men are not going to change they're not well there's no there's no reason for them to change like if you hear we see what they say that they're not worried about it they know mm -hmm. that largely black women are still going to deal with them which i mean that's just a fact right um but there is no reason to do it there is no reason black women are not requiring better for them and here's the thing this, like this is why I don't like discussing even healthy relationships between black men and black women because to be honest and I know people are going to 
the people are going to take issue with this, but I'm just going to have to give it to you raw and uncensored. Okay? Regardless of the fact of how many of us are in relationships or who have had, you know, great experiences with black men, with our black fathers, whatever, your black son, whatever, right? I don't want to misrepresent anything or give you hope. I don't want to give you hope because I don't want you to be disappointed because what I'm seeing more often than not is that men are interested in protecting and covering for these behaviors mm -hmm. that are harming you. I would rather, which what I even said that I was going to stop even defending myself when women come to attack me because they need me to be in a bad situation. I would rather black women feel like they feel completely and get a true picture of what black men are. Because if you don't, then you may have, you may misunderstand the reality like I did for many years. I did not know that black men were this bad to women. I did not know. I didn't know it was this bad. I thought it was the opposite. I thought it was just a little of them that were that were acting out and they were doing these egregious things. But no, it's the majority of them. And I don't wanna give you hope. I don't wanna give hope. But that's why I'm leaving it open for people to tell me what the solution is. So let me read these super chats and then I'm going to open the phone lines. Um, See, they always talking about bad, bad. What is bad? Like, what are these men doing? Like, what are they doing to you? Because I bet there's a reason. I'm not trying to cover for nobody. I'm not trying to stick up for nobody. Because I tell it like it is, bro. If we do fucked up shit, nigga, I'll tell you exactly why. And it is what it is, bro. It's not like niggas is hiding it and denying nothing. You females literally deny how cra like how crazy y'all could be to put up with. Like, Sandy Wendy said, if a married woman doesn't birth a son in Nigeria, she is persecuted and harassed. A Nigerian man kidnapped his own son and used him for blood rituals at the instruction of his pastor. It's global. Yeah, look. <laughs> I mean, listen. Mm. Anyway, Patience Curtis, thank you so much. She said, be sure to discuss John Matthews in Chicago that killed his girlfriend family over breakfast and corn rolls. Shaking my damn head. Um, See, these are fucked up niggas. Nobody's saying this is not fucked up shit. But nigga, that's a toxic relationship. You feel me? You're finding niggas. These are toxic relationships. It's not, oh, it was a happy relationship and the nigga just woke up one day and killed him. No, nigga. It was years of toxic shit. The fuck? Man, too, thank you for the super chat. Let me try to make sure I got everybody. Because sometimes I have to go into the studio. Yeah. Okay. Um, AK said, hey, San and people in the chat. Hey to you, AK. Murder Magic Trick said, it's really sad. I know someone who's proud of her son for exhibiting apathy towards women. I told her that's dangerous. She think it's fun and cute. Yeah, until one of those trash bags go out and show her apathy. Or when they show one of her son's apathy and decide to take him out. And so I think people are looking at the language and they're looking at, you know, the term abort. Mm -hmm. But... What needs to be understood is that abort essentially just means to stop something, to terminate something. Terminate so, the like, of when black people boys. say abort the mission, or you know, just it, it doesn't necessarily mean aborting a baby. Obviously, the term abortion specifically refer, refers to aborting a child. It does. That's what the term abortion specifically right. refers to. But to but even if that's not the solution. Even if people say just don't get pregnant, choose to not have children, those are going to have the same outcome. If you vet men, that's going to have the same outcome. If you choose to open up your options and date out, that's going to have the same outcome. Yeah. When people are telling black women to divest and go get different races of men, they don't see that as extreme, but you're still not birthing black males. Right. You're still not. Lovely Locke said, if black women were watching black men's actions and not their words, they would see that black men increasingly are having non-black sons, so they are actually making the same choices by their interracial mating choices. And that's what I'm saying that black women are not realizing. Listen, CNN just wrote an article called White Supremacy with a Tan. I wonder who is creating all these tan children. Right. I wonder who's doing it. Right. And I 
I just can I just say something because I look I I don't really um I don't I I think that most black women are reasonably intelligent. So if you're dumb and you don't get what I'm saying, I don't feel the need to break my words down to that of a remedial person of a very low intellectual aptitude, right? But l- let me humor you for a second. When this I is said fucked up. Demon seed is demon seed, whether it be female or male. Understand this. Yes, you have a better chance of raising a productive person if if you give birth to a black female child. This is true. However, you also have a greater chance of that. You do understand where that person is coming from. You do understand where that, where that person is coming from and the types of women that are their counterparts. Okay, because some of those women are going to give birth to 10 of those demons. Yep. Well, because you can only produce what you are, right? So if you're a demonic entity, that's what you're going to reproduce. It just is what it is. But so for the people who are confused, I want to bring your attention to this article here. I really want you to look at this article. And the reason I want you to look at this article, because black people, like... Again, critical mass. This was written on September 4th, 2021. You can just look at the imagery right here, and it's already showing you most people are not going to be black. Most of the people are in here are not going to be black. And they're going throughout the history of how other groups like the Italians and the Irish became white, how the Jays essentially became white by status how asians asians are actually white but whatever they call them honorary whites they're actually white but sure so they said literally people who identify as multi-racial increased by 276 percent over the last decade mm-hmm. damn 276 percent that's a fucking lot and what they're in here telling you is is that people They said the U.S. is barreling towards becoming a rainbow nation around 2045. Rainbow is not black. Biracial is not black. Mixed is not black. Multiracial is not black. So people can sit up here and they can try to lump biracial people in there just because that right now their racial classification is black, but they're still not black. They're not black. And society knows they're not black. They know that they're not black. So they said um, when white people are projected to become a minority. Now, if you read through this le- this article, and I'm not going to. Uh, uh, the camera about to die. That's part one, nigga. She said some crazy shit. What y'all think, man? I said what I think in the beginning, but I don't know. She made some points in there. I ain't going to say she made good points, bad points, but she made some points. You feel me? What y'all think? That's that, man. Rock easy out this bitch. I don't kick her with none of these niggas. I'm on my Back with to the face, I'm blowing O's and shit. Shoot a nigga down like the Rosen bitch. Shoot a nigga down.